Previously, we set up a lab on behalf of SQL injection attacks. If you have not yet watched that video, then click the i button now. Hello everyone, I welcome all of my viewers to a new video. In this video, we're going to perform an SQL injection attack using an automated SQL injection and database takeover tool called SQL Map. SQL Map is a powerful and versatile open source tool written by Bernardo and Miroslav to dynamically detect and exploit SQL injection issues. It supports many databases and helps us not only to enumerate and extract databases but also to execute system commands. I will discuss the basics of SQL Map and leave the rest for you to explore since it includes a massive list of functions, which cannot be explained here, but you can find them in my blog. The link is in my description box. SQL Map comes pre installed with Kali Linux, which is usually Penetration Tester's favorite operating system. Launch the SQL Map Advanced Help menu by running the SQL Map HH command. Detect and exploit SQL injection. Previously, we have set up a vulnerable web application to test SQL injection attacks, which can be accessed by navigating the IP address. Now, let's go back to the browser. Click on the basic challenge and then choose any of these. Here, it will ask us to input the ID as a parameter with a numeric value. Let's input the ID parameter with numeric 1 at the top of the URL bar after the existing URL. Here it takes a get parameter named ID and displays the username and password values for the same. This URL displayed the value for the first user. Similarly, if we increment the ID parameter, we'll notice different username and their corresponding password pairs. The most benign check for SQL injection is nothing other than adding a quotation mark after the suspect parameter. This actually tries to break the application's SQL query by adding a stray string character. Now let's try that out. As we expected, we get a classic MariaDB error which tells us that something is odd, and possibly an error-based SQL injection. Let's fire up SQL Map and try to figure out whether it is exploitable or not. Now, run SQL Map U and paste the URL. Only copy the URL. Do not copy the quotation mark which I previously added to test whether it is injectable or not. SQL Map throws a nice output suggesting that the ID is vulnerable to an error based SQL injection, and the backend database is MySQL. As you may have understood, U is used to supply the URL to SQL Map, and the GET parameter is selected from it. But in case there are multiple parameters to look into, then we can use hyphen p and then specify the parameter name to explicitly specify which parameter to look at in SQL Map. As a bonus, it also alerts us that the parameter is susceptible to XSS vulnerability as well. Now, type Y if you want to test payloads specific to other database management system software. Next, it will ask you to continue the test. Type Y to continue all tests for MySQL. Here, we get to confirm that the ID parameter is vulnerable. Now, type Y to keep testing if there is anything left. When the detection phase is over, the output also shows us the variety of ways in which we can exploit this flaw. As you can see, the detailed output consists of exploitation choices. These payloads can be used to test the backend architecture of the web application. From the output, you will also get complete information on running the operating system and the detail of web application technology. Now, it is obvious that we can exploit this using the error-based technique. But before that, I'll navigate you through different types of settings we can use. 
SQL map supports the use of a specific technique of exploitation by using the hyphen hyphen technique command line switch. They are like, B is used for Boolean based blind, or simply blind injection. E is used for error based injection. U is used for union query based injection. S is used for stacked queries. T is used for time based injection. Q is used for inline queries. If you take a look at the output of our previous example, then you find out that the SQL map automatically selects appropriate usable techniques. If you want to manually force SQL map into one of these options, then you have to specify it while running the command. Before that let me remove the log file. Now run SQL map hyphen U and then specify the target URL, now use hyphen hyphen techniques and then specify the usable technique. If you want to specify the DBMS, then use hyphen hyphen DBMS flag. It will skip this process. SQL map has some awesome switches like hyphen hyphen levels and hyphen hyphen risks, which can provide SQL map additional tests to perform while looking for injection points. As you can notice, the SQL map only prints the output for the Boolean based blind injection technique. If you wish to perform the SQL map command line interface on your Windows machine, then our first priority is to download and install the Python interpreter as because the SQL map is written in Python. If you have previously not yet installed it, then download it from their official site. As I am using the host only adapter on my Windows, so let me switch the adapter to the NAT network. Now click here to download the installer. Now install it. Once setup is successful, you can verify it by running Python on the command prompt. Next, download the SQL map from the official GitHub page. Here click on the code and download the zip file. Now extract this file. Now change the directory to SQL map directory and then run the command prompt from here by typing cmd on here. Now, from here, you can run the SQL map as usual way. Let me test it by running the help command by typing SQL map.py hyphen hyphen help. If you want to access the SQL map directly from command prompt, then you have to add the file path to the environment variable. Before that, we have to move the directory to the C drive. Now right click on this PC, and then click on properties. Here click on the advanced system setting. Now click on the environment variable. Here double click on the path variable and add the file path of the SQL map. Everything is ready. Now we can easily access SQL map from command prompt without switching the file path. If there are any doubts or queries regarding this video, then mention them in the comment section.